How's it going, everybody? My name is Waddles. I hope you're doing well. I have a question. What's the best way to get XP nowadays? Uh, because I've been collecting up XP and it's <laughs> taken so, so long to get back to 34. I had to fix up my diamond set with some diamonds and uh, yeah, it took a lot of levels. But take a look at this, okay? So we have protection two, protection two, the same leggings, right? Uh, if I put them in here, I should be able to repair them, right? Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> uh, there's no enchantments anymore. Hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, because usually you can do this, right? But I just took an enchantment off of a, a set of leggings. So if I have, like, the same enchantment on things, can I really use that to remove enchantments? Huh. I, I couldn't find any more, like, matching ones, but look at this helmet. Projection 2, Unbreaking 2, Aqua Affinity, and Respiration. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, but I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to go up to the surface and and do some enchanting. I need a Silk Touch pickaxe for the project that I'm about to start today. And, um, yeah, to get Silk Touch, you know, you need to enchant. I linked this up, by the way, um, to the water here, like I talked about last episode, saying I should get on it. Uh, yeah, it just goes straight down to the zombie farm, pretty much. Um, so that's the thing. It saves a lot of time. But I think I should go ahead and take a look in the, uh, the AFK fish farm for a Silk Touch book first. I'm not sure if I have one, uh, so it might be worth a shot. And if not, we'll try enchanting a few picks, uh, to get Silk Touch. I really like Silk Touch, and I need my hands on some of that, so I have to check up these books now. Hmm. As I suspected, there was no Silk Touch books in the AFK Fish building, but that's not that big of a deal, because I've got books and I've got diamonds, so let's go ahead and try to get a diamond Silk Touch pick. Um, and if I don't have... Uh, I need paper. If I don't have any silk for the diamond pick, we'll go ahead and enchant a book. I should have basically four tries to get silk here, so let's... Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, that's silk touch. Um, I don't have any lapis over here. <laughs> um, uh, never mind about that four tries. Uh, okay. <laughs> that works. That's awesome. Um... Ah, the nearest Silk Touch is all the way back at the storage, so I'll have to go back and grab that. I guess I don't need to do that right now, though. Uh, so, I want to finish up this land thing before we do anything else, because last episode we just about finished up that project. Now, I didn't go ahead and get any more chests in there or anything like that yet, um, but we'll talk about that a little later. So, I want some trees on this area, and I'd like to make this into, you know, just a nice little path going from the wheat field to uh, each building and I guess up the hill to the little furnace area. I don't really want to add anything to the town uh, other than, you know, trees. No more buildings or anything like that. But what I was thinking about doing is making a little palm tree type thing. Now, I think jungle leaves would be the best for this. Uh, not spruce for sure because spruce is... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like a beech leaf, right? It's so dense and and thick it looks like something you would see in you know a tiger or something but this will have to do for now uh i want the trees to be kind of uh small uh i guess right like i i don't want it to be too big but i guess i don't want the tree to be too small i'm not that good at custom trees honestly i i just i'm just not uh let's go ahead and do something like that um we'll pull this out and hmm <laughs> I didn't realize I built it off-centered, but I was thinking about doing something like like this, right? Like we have some some diagonals on this tree, kind of coming down like that, and then maybe we could grow some coconuts in the tree with brown wool. <laughs> and this will get stripped, of course, uh, to kind of make it look like a palm tree. That's kind of a sad-looking palm tree, though, isn't it? Um, that's That's not only sad-looking, that's really bad-looking. Uh, <laughs> yikes, um, I think I need to make that tree a little larger. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that for now. So, uh, never mind that this doesn't look like a beach town at all, either. Ignore that. I, I 
I I know. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and enchant the silk pickaxe before I forget. So here's the lapis. I went to the storage and grabbed it. And there we go. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Awesome. Uh, so that had um, silk. Efficiency 4 at breaking 3. Guys, also remember, name my tools. Trishila is doing well. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyways, um, so I wanted to, of course, make this a beach. So that means sand we need more sand in here it needs a lot 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 more sand uh so we'll just kind of randomly throw sand in here i don't have anywhere near enough in my inventory um but maybe the beach goes you know kind of roughly in this shape following the the shore of course and then i wanted to take uh coarse dirt and uh, mix it into the grass in here a little bit and yeah kind of make just a nice beach feel of an area so we can have this all nice and done uh maybe some tiki torches with uh these torches so uh how i'll do that is with fence posts and torches pretty simple i'll show you right here though uh we'll grab some wood uh oak fences will do fine and maybe uh, on the beach we do something like uh that right make a little tiki torch field type thing and maybe i could grab some rugs and make little beach towels sitting around here even though it's really you know not much of a beach because of this whole dock thing uh it probably wouldn't be ideal to sit next to the stinky docks and look into the ocean <laughs> but uh it's okay because we live in the ocean so we've seen weirder things right we yeah literally live in the ocean by a giant blue thing so that's fine um i think that'll kind of make sense it'll kind of be cool i'll need to go over to the desert though and grab more sand because my sand resources or stockpiles excuse me are very low now <laughs> after doing all of that concrete floor i've pretty much run out of sand unfortunately which is is a bummer you know i had a double chest full of sand uh but oh well it's it's for a good cause right or it was Ah, uh, yes, I know that cactus doesn't grow on the beach. Why do you ask? <laughs> uh, I absolutely know that. Uh, what do we think about this, though? Mm, nope, not like that. Uh, I need a little bit more cyan uh, for a beach towel, right? Uh, this is just the colors that I had kind of ready over, over there. Um, and then I have some red, too, so we could do another cyan uh carpet with some red on it maybe we put one uh, um hmm maybe i should do these a little thinner so i can fit more in something like that i mean yeah it looks better too wide like that <laughs> maybe those are my beach towels i i kind of like it right uh so we'll just kind of extend the beach there a little bit uh maybe a little bit more uh now on the other side of this path, I'd like to do coarse dirt. Not too much, though. Uh, probably about half and half of coarse dirt and normal grass, right? Uh, and then we'll do path blocks for the walking area. Maybe some oak planks mixed in or something like that. Just some kind of uh, simple way to get a path in here and finish up the town. I think I'll leave the water here like that. I kind of like it. Um... And I'll need paths going, you know, of course, up to each and every little uh, building here. So we'll have the path go in like that. And over here, uh, we'll have another path, you know, go to this AFK building that I don't really use at the moment. And then to the chicken farm that I've never used and up the hill. Now on the hill, I'll continue doing uh, this. I'll just kind of spill the, the course dirt down the hill, I think, and... Then over here, I have an odd area because the dock comes up over here, right, to enter into the town. So I guess maybe we just take the path and go kind of straight back. Um, I don't know what I'll do with this weird blend in here, though. Um, that'll probably just stay. Um, but yeah, I think I like how this is coming together. I think it looks kind of nice, right? It's it's nice and simple. Not 100% sure on these rugs here, but I think it's kind of nice. And I have one dead tree. <laughs> just one uh that's it and of course cactus because that goes on a beach yeah um that's good for now i think so i obviously expanded the beach out a bit more because 
Uh, it just looked really, really weird, and I'm still not a massive fan of what I created here, but I think it's okay for now. I definitely need to come back in here and do some better lighting and figure out this odd area in here. I thought about maybe just like a big garden or something in this corner. Uh, that could kind of corner off this town pretty well, but now the town is pretty much done, which is another nice thing to have done and off the book. So time to talk about the next project I think we're about to start. Um, the next project isn't as big as the Guardian Farm by any means, but I was trying to, you know, slowly collect up wood for the chests inside of this uh, Guardian area over here. And I realized that, you know, I don't have a really a good spot to farm trees. So I went ahead and marked out two chunks over here. So there's a corner. The other corner is right there. And then the other corner is there. And coincidentally, there's this inside of this. Uh, now, I, I did know that this was here, but I haven't taken a look inside of it. Or at least I don't remember looking inside of it. So let's kill these drowned and... Uh, get inside of it here and take a look at what we have now i'm gonna preserve this little ruin thing uh ah, just a rod <laughs> uh but yeah this will stay i won't remove that but uh the two chunks are marked out or the four i guess it's four chunks um because i'd like to set up a basic tree farm underneath the ocean floor here so we'll have something you know popping out of the ocean floor kind of like the storage room and then a room cleared out underneath this. Uh, but I need to do a lot of digging. And that's why I wanted to get the silk pick so I could start collecting up stone. Um, yeah, so basically what I'll do is I'll dig out, you know, these four chunks under the ground. Probably like 12 high, so it'll be a lot. Uh, and then we'll have some box pop out of the ocean floor. I don't know what it'll be yet, so that's why I'm not really showing much. But... Uh, we'll have some box pop out of the ocean floor, maybe with, like, stripped, uh, oak. I like that stuff. And then wood on the side, and maybe, like, a leaf ceiling or something cool like that. And then we'll have a tree farm underneath it. Now, uh, just a manual one, nothing too fancy. Like, I'll just plant them and cut them down. It'll be for birch, uh, oak, spruce, acacia, uh, normal jungle, right? No giant trees or anything like that basically every tree except the giant ones uh, but I think that's gonna be our next project here uh, so to start this off I think I need to probably get under the ocean floor and just start digging out space I don't know how much I'm gonna go and try and get done today uh, wait aha <laughs> I don't know what I could really do with this we need a turtle farm that's what I should be doing uh, yeah okay I'm just gonna <laughs> uh, try and focus and clear out a little bit of this area I definitely won't dig it all out um, but I think it's a, a little bit of work time so I can talk about it a little better okay so this is where I'm at with the chunk project it's all dug out uh, however this chunk over here in this corner is a slime chunk. Ah, uh, don't know if that's good or bad. It's probably bad. I don't really want that here. But uh, this cave goes out into the ocean, as you can see. So uh, let's just place this. Uh, I'm thinking about using this as the proper entrance and doing a cave entrance. It's kind of funny how that worked out because I already wanted to do like a, some kind of cave entrance into the tree farm. I thought that would be cool. So Yep, that'll probably be the entrance. I'll just need to change the shape of the cave uh, because the floor is going to be like 12 more blocks down. Uh, that's why I'm stopping for today because it's a lot of digging and it's something I'd rather do like in between an episode or something like that. Uh, so I can plant all kinds of trees in here except uh, the, you know, the giant ones, of course. So this is what I have so far. I'm just going to keep making chests and chests of this stuff. However, uh... We're about to do one more project today. Uh, <laughs> now that I'm done with the Guardian Farm, again, for the most part, I still do need to cover up the redstone and stuff. Uh, we can, you know, try out some different projects and do some other stuff and, yeah, just kind of, you know, complete more things in this world. Because if I wanted to do a tour anytime soon, I really wouldn't have much to show off. So, um, we'll cover that up soon and I will continue to get wood for the chests and iron. I need to strip mine off camera, which is what I'm probably going to do. 
But the next thing I want to set up is an auto smelter. So uh, ah, I don't know where to really put it. I want it somewhere in this village, right? We're going to make a village uh, under the water. So we have this building here, this building there, tree farm over there. So I have this empty space in here where I could put a smelter or I could put it over by the storage room. Technically, it might make a little more sense, although over here by the storage room. So that's why I think I might put it over. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you know, when I think about things, right, if I'm mass smelting, I want to move them from the smeltery over to the storage room real uh, easily. So that's what makes me think I might want to just kind of put it in, like, right here in between these two buildings. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Uh, now, auto smelter, you know, with the furnaces and that kind of thing. This won't be under the ground. We'll make an actual building this time. Uh, we won't do the whole building today, though. So let's start it over here. I think maybe if we had a circle... Uh, that could be kind of cool. So if we went maybe, uh, I don't know, something like, what is that, five? Um, maybe we go six, seven, and then we go three, maybe one, uh, three. I don't know if this is going to make an actual circle, but I think this could give us tons of room for auto smelters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, seven. So what do we got going on? Do we have anything that looks like a circle, or is this going to look like an app? Hmm. Mm. It might look like a like an iPhone app or something like that, but oh well, I think that's fine. Uh, but what I was thinking is, uh, you know, a totally crazy, you know, unnecessarily large. This is a strip mine, by the way. Talked about it at the start of last episode. Um, but something that's you know absolutely unnecessary. That's kind of what I like to do with my projects is just things that are way more powerful than they really need to be so one two three four five six seven that's seven again uh so what we'll do is we'll have two walls or, or maybe even three walls of furnaces like auto smelting furnaces so seven uh, like on the walls so that could be up to 21 in here of course we need to leave one wall open for an entrance so that'll be that uh what do i have here i have four five six seven so there's seven um yeah so tons and tons of furnaces in here you know more than i would ever really use uh so we'll have a building shaped like that i think that'll kind of fill in this area nicely i do want to you know do better uh like floors and stuff around here too like it's really kind of boring looking but something like this will be cool uh inside of this thing I want to go with, like, a wooden plank floor, um, stone brick on the walls, and maybe, like, cobblestone and glass on the ceiling. Something like that could be really cool. Probably a lot of glass on the ceiling, now that I think about it, so we don't get the dripping. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing in here with this project. I think it could be really fun to do. So, what I want to start doing today is just getting the shape of this build in, and then we'll go ahead and finish it up next episode while I continue to dig out the tree farm. Because <laughs> um, that's going to be a long project. I also need a vine farm. Um, I'll probably make a temporary wall somewhere or something like that. Because I want mossy stone and all that in here. Uh, but anyways, let's see. Maybe we could do... Hmm. Like, uh, this is going to be the front, right? So we enter on this wall. Maybe we'll do a three-wide doorway. And we'll do... Uh, you know what? You know what we'll do? Mm, this is this is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do a three wide door. We're gonna do, well, oh, hey, <laughs> I keep uh, finding more trident drowned around here and killing them with my looting. I know I could throw the trident, or yeah, the trident at them. I could throw Trishula over here, but that won't get me the looting kill. Uh, so I cannot get a trident. <laughs> um, uh, but what I was gonna say is we'll do the same trick that we did in the the guardian farm room we'll do some stairs so this whole little doorway gets wider and we'll go up and uh, up one more and then we'll make an arch uh where's my pick i don't have either of them uh so we do an arch right here going up and i need to hear to him yep uh something just like that uh, of course ignoring the top part uh but maybe you know now that I look at it, we don't really even need that. We could just have a nice, wide-open entrance to this build, and we'll just, like, walk right on in here. Uh, I don't know how we'll do the water trick to get this water out of here. Maybe we'll do, like, just trap doors along the side. Uh, that won't solve the middle, though. Hmm. Hmm. That'll, uh, 
Ah, uh, that is going to be tricky. Uh, I mean, we could just have the water kind of pour down in front of the thing. That might be easier, you know, uh, just uh, make lower ground outside or something and like a step up. So we'll do something like that on these walls and then maybe we do, well, you know, uh, the furnaces are going to need one block behind them for a hopper with the fuel and then uh, they'll be in the middle and then maybe we have our final product pop out. So we'll have furnaces kind of popping out and we won't really, I guess, be able to access these corners now that I that I realize it. So, hmm, that's going to complicate some things. Ah, uh, oh well. Let's try some prismarine in this build. We are underwater after all, so this could look nice. So maybe we have these corners go up, and then uh, we'll go, like, diagonally over with a slab. Or not diagonally, excuse me. Going over with slabs to kind of create a, a border. And then we'll just do, like, a flat glass roof uh, sticking out of this thing or something like that. Maybe a little bit of a dome. I don't really need a dome in this thing, though. Uh, but I think something like that could look kind of cool with the prismarine changing color and then, again, like moss stone and everything in here. And maybe we do slabs on top of this here to make the center a little more thick or even just make that a proper arch. And then on the inside, we'll have pretty much like a square build kind of uh, because we'll have nothing in these corners. We'll just probably do like another prismarine beam going up or something like that in each corner. And, um, and then on the front, I'll you know, make sure this matches, so I guess I would go out, uh, there, like that, and, yep, uh, more beam, beams, excuse me, something like that, uh, that's what I think I'll do with this little smeltery, so, uh, you know, we don't have a bunch of wasted space or anything like that, this will be tall, so we'll center the, the, uh, what do you call them, the furnaces, but I think that is gonna make sense, so I think that's just about it for today's episode. It's that time of the day again. So today's comment of the day is from Target for all mobs. Uh, but first, there are two new blocks in here. Thank you, Eggroll700 and Fan of Bread. You're starting off the back section of this area, which will actually be on in two more episodes with the comments. So... Uh, I might need to plan on extending this thing. I think I'll extend it down. I could do a glass floor and, you know, just keep this going, add some staircases in. But anyways, the comment of the day is from Target for All Mobs. The comment is from a few episodes back now, but uh, it was really relevant because I was looking around and I found a shipwreck over here. Now, the comment was about uh, converting a shipwreck into like a submarine type thing uh, and using it for something. And when I was looking around, uh, and actually looking back at the footage from when I was setting up this wall, there is a shipwreck somewhere over here, actually. Now, let's see if I can find it. Uh, aha! It's right there. It's, so it's, you know, a little bit of a ways, but I wanted to take a look at the wreck and see what we got. Now, we're out of range, so I'll need to keep that in mind, but uh, let's see. So we have a drowned over there, and let's go on into here it's upside down oh no <laughs> let's break that and what do we got mm, iron ah <laughs> i guess i need uh the iron though I, I i'm running really low on that stuff is that the only chest here though i think it is i think that's going to be the only chest in this wreck um uh oh <laughs> um okay so that's that um i want to use that for something maybe that'll be like a an outer marker, because we're pretty far. Like, that farm is definitely off uh, all the way over here. Uh, but off camera, I'm going to go ahead and strip mine a little bit, and we'll come back with tons and tons of diamonds, I hope. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to try and connect this strip mine up to the other one, which is over towards the zombie farm. Uh, take a guess, I guess, early if you want. How many diamonds am I going to get? Uh, I need iron, though. I'm doing it for iron and lapis, so uh, wish me luck. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Go have a good day.